Hi y'all. Guess who's here for PJs and profits? It is me. Yes, I'm still in my PJs. I got my robe on. I got my tea here. And I wanted to hop on here really quick to talk to you guys about understanding the power of how the internet really works. Um, so I just want to share this with you guys because I'm actually going to be putting together a webinar um, to get people to see how the internet is really connected and I came across I was putting some stuff together this morning for a few clients and I was like you know what people don't understand this whole online space and how it all um, intertwines and how it's all connected and the ways in which you turn what it is that you do from your messaging online and social media um, to actual money all right and so I want to just highlight something for you guys because a lot of people miss the mark on this. Um, and I was going through it and I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to teach on this stuff. All right. So here's the thing about making money online. There's four ways that you take four steps to get people from all the social media stuff to actually doing business with you. But it requires pieces of a puzzle that are well thought through in order to turn them into business let me show you something so i came across this this morning and it shows you really it's a really good um perspective of all the processes that people need to go through to actually build uh, to actually uh, do business with you right so they go from strangers to visitors to leads to customers to promoters endorsing you but you got to understand, y'all, these steps, attracting, converting, closing, and delighting. A lot of people, this is these are the kind of things that I do for my customer, right? I, I have a client that I'm working on a process for her now. And what most people miss, y'all, they think that, because um, people come to me and they're like, what do you do? And as a digital marketing consultant, we put strategy in place to help them understand how to essentially walk them through this process, right? We do this. We set this up for them. So if you look at this, just look at this framework. And we put this together for our clients all the time. And then we do it for our business as well. But most people don't understand. They look at just the social media piece and they say, oh, okay, I'm good. Um, I can just go out here and I can start a blog or I can do some Instagram posts or I can do some stuff on Facebook or YouTube. What they don't understand is the back end pieces that are essential to the conversion process. So this person, we put this together for them to attract potential people to partner up with them in their business. So it's like, okay, you know, what is it that you're going to have as a call to action as a lead, right? And we kind of set things up or ultimately they leave these them to a survey and then a join and blah, blah, blah. But people miss the mark on this thinking that all I have to do is this and then I'm going to sell them stuff. Guys, you have to understand how people think and how people work. And I saw this graphic earlier. I thought it was brilliant, but let me show you what people are going through when they are online. And this was amazing, right? So if you're trying to convert business in your um, online with whatever it is that you do, this talks about how people are strangers where they don't know you and they don't trust you and the process that you will walk them through to get them to become a friend and a fan. In the beginning, it's like awareness. It's like, oh, hey, glad to know you exist, right? You're just trying to get people to know you exist. Then you have to do something that is attractive to them, which is why knowing your audience is critical, that makes them interested in wanting to learn more, right? Then you have to provide them with value that makes them say, I like you. I'm going to stick around. Then that relationship building process says, I, I'm in, right? You get them to purchase. And then you fulfill. The loyalty piece is, I really love what you're doing. I am going to um, stick around with whatever else it is that you're selling. And then eventually they will become a fan that will go out and promote you. And so I'm actually putting a course in place. 
and I was mapping it out. And I was like, you know, I'm going to walk people through this process because people don't understand these different steps and what's involved, right? So when you get into the attraction piece, the process of this comes down to, you know, you're attracting people through social media, content, and video, but you also need to ask, ask yourself those questions. What do you offer? What do you, um, who are you offering it to? What is it that they want and where can you find them, right? And all this stuff. So anyway, it's a lot of information, but guys, listen, a lot of people, I was just posting a story on Instagram and I, I had a, I've been having talks with people all week. I've been on this phone. We've been doing, you know, people have been in my DMs and we'll hop on a Zoom. Me and Keisha Bass was on a Zoom till midnight last night, maybe. I don't know, 11 o'clock last night. We were just talking. And I told her, I said, you know, the biggest mistake I made my first go round was building a presence without having a system behind me to support all of the um, attention I was getting. Right. So I realized that I was on everybody's stages, on everybody's phone calls, on everybody's webinars. I was on all these different platforms where I was getting overexposed, but I had no offer and no foundational setup to support people once they got introduced to me. Right. And it was the biggest mistake ever. It cost me millions of dollars because there's nothing worse than being overexposed with no offer. And so I retreated and pulled back and said, you know what? I'm going to get my house in order. I'm not going to just jump out here and trying to be everywhere and be seen all the time to get a whole lot of attention with no strategic plan of action. And so instead, now I'm reversing how I did it the first time. I don't need to be lit right now and having everybody talk about who I am because at the end of the day, if I don't have my offer in place, my systems in place, that my introduction to the world leads me from this process of going from a stranger to a friend, a, a loyal customer, then it's not time, right? So what I'm doing is I'm putting my house in order. Now, it doesn't mean you have to do it that way. You can still build rapport. I, yeah, y'all see I'm still engaged on social media. But at the same time, I don't push and promote my business as heavy yet because we're putting some infrastructure in place. And the thing about that is not trying to do everything first. I'm doing it one step at a time, but it's understanding where you want to lead people and how you want to grow your business. One of the biggest issues that, um, or biggest challenges that people face is thinking short term. Most people come online and all they think about is how I can make money today. But what you don't understand is in today's market, just trying to sell people something is not going to work. People have offers being thrown at them all day long from YouTube to Instagram to Facebook to LinkedIn. You name it, there's ads and offers and pitches everywhere. And so what you have to begin to think about is who can I serve and what is the journey that I'm going to take them on to continue to serve them so that my customers that I attract will continue to grow with me in this journey. That is what I'm doing now. I literally have a 10 year plan for my company, for my business. Um, and it's a, it's a virtual based business, but it's thinking with my customers in mind that when I attract my customers um, and my clients, what is the number one, where do they start? And once they get started, what's the next step that they're going to need, right? So I'm already thinking ahead for them on, um, this is how I'm going to build out my business model and my services and my offers is considering what are the steps that my clients and customers are going to need to go through. And so you guys may know, um, or you're here, you'll, you will hear me talk about, I am starting my training school, my online school. And so I realized that a lot of my students and a lot of my um, my target market are the people who have been out here spending tons of money buying this course and that course and that course and that course and this course. They are overwhelmed with information and they have no idea how to piece put the pieces of the puzzle together. And so I've taken I've been taking the time to think about the common challenges that my audience has, what are the solutions that I can provide for them and how can I gradually walk them through a process um, that will actually get them results. And so I, I'll just give y'all a sneak peek, but y'all will learn a lot more about this in the upcoming months. But I started breaking down the stages of business, where people are and what is it that they're facing. And so I know that when people are just getting started, 
all they need, that's a dream phase. They're trying to figure out what business should I start, right? What are the common challenges and what is it that they need? They just need to know where to focus and how to align what they want to do with where they want to go, right? And so I began building out different pieces of my business to support those different stages, right? So we have, um, when they're in that stage, I know where they are and I can help them get clear. And so with that said, I've begun to think about the journey that I'm going to take my audience on. So let me show you how I put this in place for my, my school, okay? So with my school, what I began to do is think about where do I start? Where do they start? And where do they need to go to? What is the roadmap, right? So we have the personality quiz that leads them to starting their dream business to help them identify what their dream business is, to help them learn how to provide a service-based business and all that good stuff. And so with that, y'all, as I know where I'm going, what's happening now, you can see this, I'll be releasing this today, is helping me to begin to teach them the different stages that they need to go through. It's helping me to begin to formulate the content that supports that dream stage. If you're in the dream stage, let me show you how you can position yourself to have multiple income streams. So what happens is you got to get this clarity as to how you're going to serve people. And then when you get clarity, you start understanding what journey you're going to take people on, what resources you need to put together to support them. Now, how does that formulate into my content? Now I know what YouTube videos I need to shoot. Now I know what kind of Instagram content I need to post. Now I know what kind of conversations I need to have in my social media. So a lot of people like I'm super quiet right now, but it's because it's all me getting clear on who I'm here to serve and what it is that I'm called to do and 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 make allowing that to translate. So y'all will begin to see stuff roll out, but here's the thing, too many people are focused on the wrong thing. We're focused on trying to get premature attention prematurely without understanding what it takes to build a solid business that will become profitable. And so you guys, y'all will begin to see. I'll just give y'all one last sneak peek. But this is a direction that I'm starting to take Instagram posts, right? Y'all have probably seen these out there where you start understanding um, like today, I'm going to do that video uh, that I'll be releasing the video on YouTube. This is the post to support it, right? That goes with the three, um, that goes with this whole thing here on the three brilliant steps. So it's, it's, it's a process to building a business. You won't need to know all of this starting out, but you do want to understand that if you want to really build a profitable business, you got to think long-term, you got to get with a mentor that can show you the right steps and not people showing you this instant income. And you've got to get to a point where you understand that it's about your audience and what they want and what they need and not you just coming out here and being like, yo, I'm the hottest thing since sliced bread. Everybody should want to give me money because that ain't how I roll. So anyway, if you want to learn more about these business tips, you want to get these graduated steps on how to get to this place of building a successful business, you want to get plugged in with somebody who know what the heck they're talking about, they understand the strategic plans of action, they understand strategy, they understand, um, you know, deliverables, the, the ability to build rapport and relationship, you want to get into our Facebook uh, group. Um, it's called Launch, Grow, Scale. I'll post it here in the group when we are done. And I showed y'all like an overview of a lot of stuff that I'm working on. But I teach people the bit by bit steps that they need to take to um, actually get their businesses up and running. And guys, let me tell you, you know, the, the thing about this is, and, and a lot of people don't understand, when you start taking the time to develop a skill, okay, a skill that serves a market, you will begin to put yourself in position to um, really produce income. So let me give y'all one last sneak peek. So I'm not popping on social media. Most of y'all have no idea what the heck I do. I look like a stay at home mom who sits at home and homeschool my kids all day and play on Instagram and Facebook. But let me tell you what has happened in seven days. In the last seven days, these are my contracts, boo. Like we, we, there is, things popping that it, it 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 doesn't take popularity to produce, right? A lot of people just don't know who they're going after. You have not yet developed a confidence in the skills that you have. You have not figured out how to probably 
properly package and price your products. I'm actually teaching a workshop on that on this Saturday that I highly recommend y'all join, even if you don't know what you want to offer, because there are skills and sets that, uh, skill sets that you have that if you take the time to invest in them, they can convert into some profitable, lucrative opportunities that will remove you from the hustle and grind. See, most of y'all out here trying to do 50 things and make $100 in 50 things and think that you're a beast because you got multiple income streams. But when you got multiple no income streams, which is low to no income coming in, you're not popping. You are burning yourself out. And if you really want to get to a place to stop doing this, hustle and grind, y'all, I'm on my couch almost every day. Y'all see how I look? I, I have not I have not put a lot of effort in appearance lately. And when I'm ready for it, I will, and I'm about to, right? Um, but I've been here just putting my gifts and skills into what I needed to do to build a foundation. And so, it's a lot, right? But this girl over here know what the heck she's talking about. You want to get attached to it? And you need to get into my Facebook group and you need to be on this masterclass on this weekend. So anywho, I gave y'all a lot. <laughs> I gave y'all my million dollar positioning. So anyway, I, um, I want, I'll want i put the post up in the group. Y'all get up in the group and make sure that y'all join us on this Saturday for our live masterclass. All right. Talk to y'all. Bye.